Over the past couple years, DJ, when you haven't played or haven't finished a game, the team's record isn't that good. You didn't realize how sort of important that you've been to this defense and Jabrell's bobbing his head. What is the defense missing with you out from your perspective? You don't need to brag. I know you need uh, you know, not to brag or anything. Uh, honestly, I, I just think it's the speed, you know, the speed that I bring to the to the defense and, and be able to, you know, run plays down from the backside and, and pursue and stuff like that. I think that's the only thing that's really that they're missing is just the speed from my position. Is it killing? I mean, the past two games, the two biggest games of the year, Stanford, SC at home, and you weren't able to finish or be a part of it. How much that you feel? It hurts, um, you know. I felt good to actually, you know, play against Stanford because last year, like like everybody said, I didn't play. So um, it kind of hurts, you know. SC, I've never played them. You know, that was always one of the things, you know, coming up here. I was like, I can't wait to play SC. I just really want to play SC. You know, and the fact that I couldn't play against them was, was kind of hurtful. But I mean, stuff happens. Yeah, listen to what the doctors say and and and, and go off, you know, what they tell me to do. So when you when you're watching the sidelines and the film afterwards. A lot of guys said tackle. What did that stem from? Like I said, hesitancy. Uh, guys are just kind of nervous and weren't reacting and just kind of lunging out for things and, and not just reacting to what they've seen and just playing. What's the mindset of the defense and the team as a whole? Two back-to-back -back losses. You guys are kind of reeling now. So three tough games ahead. Is it you guys pick, pissed off? You want to prove people wrong? You try, just trying to get back to having fun? Where are you guys at mentally? I think I think that's you know my main thing. That's what I see. I see a lot of guys that are not having fun. You know, we're, we're stressing out and stuff like that, and worrying about everything else. And I think we just need to sit back and have fun and just play. Coach Riley talked about this guy's you know, just here. Got going down for you. You getting banged up. You getting banged up. What about his development? He's good. He's he's been he's been great. Like I said, you know he's. It came a long way, you know. I was kind of nervous, you know, at the beginning of the year um, with him, but um, he's proved a lot of people that you know he can do it, and he, he's just like anybody else out there. And he can play fast, and okay, maybe not that fast, but he, he plays, <laughs> he plays pretty good. And, you know, he knows his job, and he, he can play any position on the defense. He's one of the conference's leading tacklers. What makes him so good at, at, at that? Is just being right spot, right time, or what is he doing well? I think he's just getting lucky. Nah, I'm just kidding. Nah, he uh, he's he's smart. Like I said, he he knows his place. He studies and he, and he, he film studies and uh, he just knows. He reacts and he just knows where the players are gonna be and he he ends up being there.